two, one. Hello, I'm Charles Eads. I did my report on what is sugar doing to your health. I go into depth about how it causes diabetes, uh, obesity, and heart disease, and how each of those is intertwined and affect each other. And if you can lower the rate for one, you can lower the rate for all. And then I'm going into like how you can fight all those by lowering sugar and by exercise. Here's a chart of the percentage of the population for each state that are obese. As you can see, um, most are above, or almost all of them are above 20 percent. Most are close to 30. And as for some reason, I guess down south, it seems to be a little bit more. Uh, not really sure why there, but that's the overall of the country. Um, the reason why people get obese is because they learn at a young age that uh, they don't know the difference between like advertising and like when companies are like kind of molding their minds to buy their stuff to buy more unhealthy things just because you make because they're cheaper because they're more fun they make the kids laugh and smile and they don't really understand what they're doing so they're being trained to like the unhealthy foods. Sugar can cause, um, like I said, it can lead to the diabetes and heart disease which overall is just bad health. Um, the sugar has no nutritional value except for um, calories and calories you don't really need but so much. I mean, you need a little bit but there's no, no other good, there's no protein, no nothing in it. And again, like I said, kids have a hard time knowing between healthy and not healthy snacks. They know that the unhealthy ones taste better, so the, they're the ones with sugar on them. So that's what they eat more of, and they don't they don't they don't understand yet what they're doing to their body and like uh, bad health issues later on in life. Um, it can lead to being just playing too big to do anything. Like you just can't you can't live the life you want to live. You just like get rushed to the hospital. Like people are just like. Like you need wheelchairs, like not because your legs might tough, but just to get around, just because things get tough and you just got to learn how to battle it so you don't have to go get to this point. Ways to fight are through exercise, like running, cardio kind of stuff helps out a lot. It burns a lot of calories, burns a lot of fat. I mean, it doesn't have to be running, it can be something you like to do, anything fun. You can also look, just lower on sugar, sugar-free things. You can get, I mean, there's still plenty of great tasting things like fruits and vegetables that you get. They have nutritional value and no none of the sugar. Here's a chart on how, as I said, the um, obesity causes diabetes. The diabetes are, is um, affects your body in many ways. The sugar uh, helps it, like, it doesn't really, it just it makes it harder to control it. And so as you can see, it's, they both go up together over the years. Diabetes is, um, it's like the sugar, what it does is it like, like I said, it, um, it lowers your able to control it, and part of the thing about it is with the um, insulin and stuff is being able to like, control it and just keep your uh, your body free of all the just you know, unevenness. Um, with the sugar, it, like I said, it worsens diabetes control. It's found in women that it can cause pancreatic cancer too, and um, just all kinds of bad things for you. And just the in, uh, type two diabetes mainly is the one it causes the most. Um, again with the soft drink or with the soft drinks, um, like, the, uh, like a lot of times we'll have coloring in them with the caramel coloring and that has been linked to uh, rich advanced gluten things which uh, gluten in, in products which ultimately causes that uh, insulin like imbalance which is mainly what diabetes is. Another thing with kids and diabetes is the sugary cereals. Cereals started out like just being like an actual healthy like granola, like no sugar added, but then uh, it was Kellogg who started and his brother uh, took over and started adding sugar. People loved it so much more and it just took control and like over the years just almost every family has cereal for breakfast and a ton of sugar. Living with diabetes can be really hard, especially for a kid, you got to do with the needles and like I'm I personally met some kids when I was little, and they like some were a little embarrassed about it, some of them were like weirdly proud about it. But I mean, this is one of those things you just got to deal with, and it's just if you can avoid it, you might as well. Ways to fight the diabetes is there's plenty of sugar-free options for things, and I mean, candy still would be the best, but there are um, ways to replace that. Again, with the exercise helps it, just staying away from sugar and just like the real like kind of desserty kind of foods, those are the ones that can uh, cause it. Finally, but both of those things can lead to heart disease, which um, is when you, it's from a, your heart doesn't get blood pumping through it and the inflammation causes it to stop for a minute. That's, that's what a heart attack is. And 
like one or like one, I mean most people can survive the first heart attack, but after repeated ones, you just do lose your chances. The sugar helps cause it because the again with the calories added to the sugar, it slows your blood flow and then so it clogs them up and then that's what causes like the inflammation and then the um just overall just like slowing your blood flow down, that's what can cause the heart attack. Also with heart disease, if you keep a healthy heart by eating almonds, like there's plenty of healthy things that are good for your heart, that can help you keep the weight off too, to not have to deal with the obesity, to like look good, feel good, and as you get like with the ball rolling with that, you, you, you want to be more healthy and more just active in your life. And again with the desserts and the sugar, like it just, like all of it, like it tastes so good at the moment, but it's just not worth it for all the health effects. There's plenty of ways to get around it all. So with the heart disease, with the diabetes, they're kind of connected through mainly obesity. Like all three kind of intertwined, like you can get them all at the same time. All of it is just it's a lot of it. Ways to keep your heart strong, like I said, with almonds, they help a lot. Um, fruits and vegetables are always good. Again, with exercise, mainly with like swimming and running, those are the like cardio ones. Get your heart pump, it gets you like your blood flowing, gets the keeps things from slowing down, which the heart disease can cause most of the time. And just overall, to keep a health, happy, healthy life, you want to eat as many fruits and vegetables as possible, get as much exercise as you can, and do whatever you can to just stay healthy as long as you can. If you only get this one life, you got to just make the most of it and don't risk it for just some candy and just being lazy. Just take control. All right, ask if they need to come in here.